You know, I, 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 Maiza has been a really, really dominant competitor in uh, recent years. For a years. long time, yeah. Yeah, it's really hard to defeat her. She's really quick to pull guard. And, yeah. Huh? She got scored an advantage on. I don't think she cares too much. She's got a really good open guard. And you can see that during the moment immediately. And Serena's doing a good job shutting it off with that foot left leg in between Mariza's leg. What does it creates distance yes, between her hips out. and hers? The adventure's taking out. Okay, so no advantage. But you see what Serena's doing with her left leg there? She keeps uh, Bastos' hips at bay. <laughs> yeah. It stops her from getting close. She comes up now. Maybe now she'll get an advantage. No. I'd like to give a shout out here to George and Sean, good friend of us from there. They are amazing uh, actors for The Lion King. Okay. One is Mosafa, the other one is uh, Scar. And uh, they train Jiu-Jitsu between plays and I had the opportunity to go there. It's, it's amazing. It's such oh, really? a high energy. I love those guys. Awesome. So humble. And um, also they are very talented uh, singers. And, and, and man, it's, it's, it's incredible how the Jiu-Jitsu link so many people different the different right. options there in, in the backgrounds you know so sean and george musafa and scar i love to you guys and it's such an addicting sport you see so many celebrities getting sucked into the jiu-jitsu lifestyle so it's you know it, it's uh something that wasn't there five ten years ago but it's reached hollywood and it's such a mainstream thing now and uh, I did not know that M uh, Mufasa and Scar trained jiu-jitsu. That's good to know. It's probably my favorite cartoon of all time. <laughs> Mine too. Mine too. Yeah. Have you ever seen the play? The play? No, I want to, though. Yeah. Robert is incredible. I bet. It's my, been my. in Vegas a few times. I have no excuses. I should have seen it. I when just... the pop by in London, man, the guy's amazing. We would love to train with you. And I'm telling you, it is breathtaking. You cry, you laugh, you cry, you laugh all over again. Oh, wow. Incredible. There you go, recommendation by Brawley Steema, watch Lion King the play. There you go, seven minutes and 30 seconds left. Maiza Bastus and Serena Gabrielli. The score is even. And you see Maiza with that lapel lasso there. It's very much like a lasso on the arm, but except you're using the lapel, right? We There's less the, tension. Yeah, we saw that before. It's very hard to, to create the pass, right? But also get to stuck to do anything else and stuff. Nice. Wow. She's so Good transition tall. there by uh, uh, Serena. Still fairly new in the scene, I feel like. I don't think I've ever seen her compete in major terms, but like she's giving Marisa a, a, a really good uh, um, battle here. Because Maisa, so you know, normally she's very aggressive about her guard and she's able to sweep people fairly quickly. But no, Serena's in a row. There you go, shutting her off again. It's incredible how very the power and the agility that she has even with the lapel that she could actually turn off the the, the grip just with the pro and aggressivity is crazy because one thing is once you have the lapel you cannot just get out she went like a, like a one movement my goodness What Maiza is doing with the other grip as well, the sleeve, stopping the mobility is really good too. And you see Maiza really aiming for that sweep in that ball but so he's just shutting her off with that left leg she's yeah. been using it the whole time very smart and it keeps her hips at base so he's having a really hard time look how fast yes wow this is the best 
than anyone has ever done and gets Melisa in this weight class. I've, I've seen her have a hard time in the open before, but in her weight classes, I've never seen anyone do so well. She's really good. You can see a little bit of frustration on Maisa's face because she still hasn't got no, no scores, which is very unlikely for on her matches. It's halfway and then nothing has been done. And, and Gabriel is really, Serena Gabriel is really, really aggressive and really uh, technical. And she's been shutting her off the, the whole time. With, with so the I, same I thing. <laughs> yes, and I don't think she's used to it. Yeah. Well, look at John the sweep. But that's normally my recognition shut off a bit of ball is exactly that. Advantage Serena. Maisa, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, this is... I didn't get that. I think because she came up... Um, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. But that's normally where I can make people shut off during bowls. Exactly that, the leg in between your opponent's legs. And it yeah. keeps their hips at bay. No matter how much they bowl, they can't really get underneath you. It keeps like a strong barrier between the two hips. I guess males should be even more effective. I guess what? Male fighters. We yeah. Put that. Yeah. <laughs> not very gentle, I'll try but that. effective. I'll no. try that. I'm always on like, you. My argument. Shall we practice? <laughs> no, not on I, me. Only, only I put. <laughs> not on me. My, my, my argument is always it's not illegal. So feel free to use it. It's not on me. Yeah, and Maisa got the advantage there, which makes a huge difference in this fight because it's going to be very difficult for Serena to get uh, on top of her, uh, past her opponent's guard. She's doing a really good job, though. This Maisa is wow. just very so that, dynamic, that. very loose. The GF team black belt, very strong performance. And with three minutes left, Serena is in a difficult situation, tactically speaking, because I, she doesn't want to come up. I think she might have to look for a different kind of strategy. If she's depending on guard passing, she's going to be in trouble here. There's a, a steamer lock there, a little attempt over there. And um, well defended by Serena. Marielle as well, like, keeps saying no, nothing's working on her, which is, which is true, to be honest. Oh, this is the... Ah, Marielle, I'm telling me that it's here. Yeah, two advantages now, just making it even harder. She shuts her down so well, it's crazy. But Maisa, she is a little bit frustrated because she never, I don't think she ever fought someone that gave her so much a hard time now. It's good to test her ability of dealing with pressure, emotional pressure. Yeah, the, this really changes everything. Those, those advantages really mess up the match in, in, in particularly wow. this well, beautiful leg drag wow. attempt there. It just Marisa just inverted at the right time. She's she waited so there a little, little too long. That could have been really bad. But that's the advantage of having such light hips is that you're able to move and adapt to your opponent's offense so quickly. Yeah, it's just bounce back like a absorbing puck, right? Yes. Whoa. 
Sorry, guys. I just saw a number of things nasty. I saw that was nasty. <laughs> I couldn't control that it. area number two. Oh. Uh, but Maisa with the bolo there. You see that left leg there, like a butterfly hook behind her knee. She's trying to go for a crab ride underneath uh, Serena. If she can get underneath her opponent, that could, she could be scoring points. Remember, it's still very. Yeah. Opa, I, I that's, will, like, that's a good position here for us, you know? Beautiful, look at Marisa. She's so smooth. She's smart. But I will say this. I'm very impressed with Serena. This is the first time I've seen anyone give Marisa a hard time in her weight class. And they're going back and forth. And honestly, it could have gone the other way. It, it could. could. It, it, it could. One advantage in Serena's favor could have changed everything. It's just that depending on points to on a guard pass to defeat Marisa is probably the most difficult way of defeating her. Exactly, like, and the ability for her to recover, you know, to place in the little gaps is, is incredible. Absolutely. Yeah, Gabrielli's got 25 seconds to try something. It's got to be something different. I don't know what what she could do. She has very few options. Maybe she's scoring the two just to secure her win. You know, that, even that right there, I mean, had Serena done something like that sooner, even I like give uh, Marisa the sweep, might have created a different situation. A sweep to the back. Because a lot of times you got you got to try to switch up the dynamic. If you're stuck in that game where you're depending on the three to beat someone like Maisa, that's a horrible position to be in. It's so hard. what you want, I mean, you, you it sounds crazy, but you might want to give the sweep away to try to be on bottom and then fish for a sweep to the back kind of thing. And that is, you have a better chance of doing that than you do actually passing Maisa's guard. Even though that sign sounds suicidal. No, but yeah, but you need to play on the second level that might come, not the first level, because the first level will always be shut up. All right, so the first European champs, 2020, Maisa. And coming up next, we have Amal Amjahid from Pat Academy, Belgium, against Larissa Campos Carvalho from Grace Umaita. That'll be our next match here, a featherweight final. Coming up on mat area number three. You are watching Flow Grappling, IBJJF European Championships 2020, with your first black belt adult champion, Maiza Bastos, representing GFT. And her opponent, props to Serena, she did an outstanding job. It just wasn't enough to defeat the champion. Look at she's so used to winning, she doesn't even celebrate anymore. She's like... It's funny, you get someone who's used to winning so much, like they win, it's just like, yeah, whatever. 